signals are an important asset to the railway. They are there to tell the engines and their crews whether the line is clear or not. One night, Gordon was taking his last express train for the day. But as he was puffing away along the main line, Gordon's crew noticed that the signal was red. He slowed him down and they came to a complete stop beyond the signal. What the? His driver pondered. We're supposed to be going through. I wonder what is wrong. He then radioed the signalman, but just then they heard Henry's whistle, and Gordon and his crew were shocked. Henry has taken the flying kipper tonight on our line. You better warn him. So the driver pulled the whistle long and loud. Henry and his crew heard the whistle. We must stop. But luckily the points were working and Henry and his train were diverted towards Tidmouth. Gordon and his crew sighed with relief. A few days later Gordon and Henry were wondering what happened to the signal that very night. They found out soon enough. The fat controller and head of control came towards the sheds. Control did some inspection and investigation of what caused the signal failure. We believe that the case of it was the caused by vandalism. Unfortunately, we can't confirm or deny it, and we don't have any witnesses before the delay you two had. Later that night, Bear was taking the midnight goods to the mainland. As he awaited for his goods to be loaded, he was worried about the vandalism of the signals, but his driver reassured him. Don't worry about it, Bear. If it were vandals, the police would find them and take them away. At last, they were ready, and Bear rolled away with his train. But at Ellsbridge, a mysterious person walked towards the signal box. He got a pocket knife out and was just about to cut the power lines until he heard Bear's horn. The man was running away, hoping he won't be found. Bear rolled past the station until he saw the man trying to escape. Bear had just come to a complete stop just near the signal box. Bear blew his horn and the signalman ran out to catch him. He was glad when he did. The police were called and the vandalists went away. As the sun rose for another day, Bear was heading towards the sheds for a rest. The fat controller was waiting at Mapford Station by the edge of the platform. He heard about Bear and the Vandalists. Bear, what you have done showed that you can take matters by yourself. If it weren't for you, the signalman would have never caught the Vandal, and we'd be stuck with more delays and signal problems. He also admitted that he did the signal problems that caused Gordon and Henry a near miss collision. This made Bear feel very proud. Not at all, sir. I'm always happy to protect our railway from those vandals. Mm -hmm.